फर्निचर होम अप्लायसेस यूटेंसिल्स कंटेनर्स इन द किचन वॉटर बॉटल्स मिल्क पाउचेस स्टेशनरी प्रोडक्ट्स टॉयज प्लास्टिक्स हैव बिकम एन इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ आवर लाइव्स वी आर सराउंडेड बाय प्लास्टिक्स वेर एवर वी आर Plastics are safe and non-toxic. Doctors and hospitals use plastics in many critical applications. Look at the farmers of rural India. They too depend on plastics for their farming. Greenhouses, mulch, drip irrigation nursery bags nets plastics continue to give us comfort adds on to our conveniences truly plastics have become part of our lives these are undeniable facts plastic is lightweight yet tough making it ideal for safe and economic packaging world over around 35% of plastic goes for packaging indiscriminate disposal of packaging has resulted in higher volumes of waste this includes carry bags films pouches and multi-layer packaging some condemn plastics for polluting our rivers and seas however if we take up recycling improve our solid waste management practices we can prevent or substantially reduce the pollution threats setting up dry waste segregation centers in select wards of mumbai is a major step towards controlling plastic pollution Indian Center for Plastics in the Environment or ICPE along with the select NGOs joined hands with BMC during 2001-2002 to implement segregation of dry and wet waste at the source through trained waste collectors the NGOs collected dry waste from households two bin culture for dry and wet waste is easy and efficient The waste collectors bring dry waste and segregate plastic from other materials. The operation has been successful. From a few hundred tons, the total annual waste collection touched a phenomenal figure of 10,000 tons in 2017. Out of this, 3,000 tons is plastic waste which goes for recycling. Simultaneously, income of waste pickers also increased multifold. Segregation at source proved revolutionary for waste management. Taking cue from the Mumbai experience, the process was replicated at Mathiran, a small hill station in Maharashtra. Mathiran had a lot of plastic pollution. Used pet bottles and laminates literally scattered around, making the place dirty and messy. About 2 lakh 50,000 people visited the place every year. bringing with them approximately 25000 bottles a month the empty bottles were thrown into the forest creating environmental hazards with initial help and guidance from icpe pet bottles from all over the place were collected and brought to a central place to crush and keep ready for transporting to the recycling unit ICPE team conducted public meetings of municipal councillors and officers hotel owners and shopkeepers it was explained that disposing of waste by rolling it down the valley was causing environmental pollution however if segregation of hotel waste and bin culture was introduced dry waste could go for recycling and wet waste could provide biogas for cooking both helped create value for mathiran In 3 months ICPE with support of Bislery changed Mathiran's waste disposal practice of decades. 
and transformed it into one of the cleanest hill stations of India. The practice continues and today Mathiran is clean and free of plastic wastes. The project has been a lesson on how to benefit from plastics without polluting the environment. Pet bottle crushing machines were installed during the year 2000 at Mumbai Central Station and later on at Ahmedabad and many other railway stations of Western Railway. Today, empty pet bottles are highly valued and almost all of them find their way to the nearest recycling units. Till recently, the low-end mixed and contaminated plastic wastes were difficult to recycle and hence left uncollected. In order to find a solution to this menace, ICPE initiated a project along with leading cement manufacturers of the country, ACC Limited, to establish scientific protocol for disposal of plastic wastes through co-processing in cement kilns. Tests were carried out to identify any potential environmental threats associated with the process. Chlorinated plastic wastes like PVC were kept out of the process. On the basis of a successful trial, Madhya Pradesh Pollution Control Board recommended use of plastic waste as fuel in cement kilns, supplementing coal. Later on, Central Pollution Control Board declared co-processing of plastic wastes in cement kilns as an environment-friendly process. With this pioneering exercise, ICPE created an opportunity for scientific disposal of all types of plastic waste with the additional benefit of saving fossil fuel. Plastic waste that normally do not get recycled find an outlet for road construction after mixing with bitumen. India is considered a pioneer in using plastic waste for construction of asphalt road. ICPE's experiments proved that use of waste plastic increases the life of roads and also reduces the cost of construction. These innovations have been successfully implemented in construction of roads in Mumbai, Ahmedabad, Surat, Kolkata, Delhi and other places. All these efforts ultimately resulted in Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Government of India, making use of waste plastic a default mode for asphalt road construction. Scientists have invented a catalyst that can convert plastic into commercially viable light diesel oil. LDO in an environment-friendly process. ICPE had successfully conducted experiment using waste of multi-layered plastics for conversion into LDO and other fractions. Advantage? Mixed plastic waste including multi-layer laminates which cannot be recycled by conventional mechanical recycling can now be recycled. Even smaller Mobile units like the one set up in collaboration of ICPE and Green Plastics Waste Management Private Limited in New Motibar Colony, New Delhi are also in operation for conversion of plastic waste into hydrocarbon fuels. Plastic consumption is on the rise across the world and we will find new uses for plastic. All plastic waste can be recycled or its energy recovered. ICPE has demonstrated the technologies. What is required is efficient collection of all plastic waste and use of any of the technologies for its recycling or energy recovery. As we can see, initiatives like Swachh Bharat will bring awareness and create better civic sense amongst our people. Reuse and extensive recycling will become a way of life. Through conscious decisions, we will soon learn to beat the plastic pollution. Living in the age of plastics is going to be more environment friendly 
than ever.